Hi and welcome back, my name is Chris and welcome to another instructional video on how to install the AMD Wraith cooler on your motherboard. Now given uh, some situations where the coolers need to be replaced, this will be a perfect guide on uh, installing it and what you need to know when you do. So let's start with the motherboard. Well, if you still have your old cooler on it, simple, basically take the four screws out. Um, they're usually going to be the smaller, um, uh, I believe it's a Cooler Master or either the Thermal Take ones. But in the event that, you're, um, uh, that your system is using a, uh, a more powerful processor that runs hot, uh, for example, this is the 2700X, uh, we are going to need to change to a beefier cooler than what's installed in your system. So once you get the old heatsink um, out, then um, you should be left with uh, the back plate. And it's usually going to be situated about here, like that. So you can see the, the standoffs for them right here. Um, once you've done that, like I said, I'm doing this on a, a bare board, so it might be a little more challenging once you're doing this inside the case. But um, with the replacement cooler set, you'll be provided with the MD Wraith cooler. Um, two of the mounting brackets, right here, and four of the mounting screws, which I already conveniently have placed on here. Uh, basically, you can just set the screws on top of those uh, standoffs from the back plate. Screw them in, right here. I forgot to mention, your kit will also include a small tube of a uh, thermal compound, so you can clean up uh, this old one uh, with a paper towel and um, some isopropyl alcohol just to make sure there's no leftovers from the previous one that are dried up. Here we go. Once we got those brackets installed, make sure they're really uh, secured down there in place. This is the part where you are going to be adding the little syringe of a thermal compound onto here. So just make a like a little pea-sized blob on there. That will spread evenly once you install the heat sink. Okay, come the little more challenging part. Um, your uh, AMD Wraith cooler will come with two uh, mounting points here. One and two. You can see on this side, there's a lever that you can move. Uh, when you are installing it, make sure it is flipped this way. Okay, that will give the most length for this bracket to mount onto the uh, uh, hooks here on this one. So just to give you a quick view of uh, how it hooks in, let me zoom in. Remember, you already put your thermal compound here, so don't touch it. Also, uh, at some at some instances, the uh, the heat sink uh, most of the time. Uh, depending, uh, we'll have like a pre-applied thermal compound on it, so you may not have to put that one there. But just to be safe, you know, check first if there's one over here, then you can use that one. If it's a clean uh, copper surface, you can put the thermal compound on the processor. Alright, so going back to the install, um, just make sure that clip goes into that hook. Alright, one more uh, thing to pay attention to is, um, I don't know if we can zoom in here, that edge right there, that gap, is where this edge of the heat sink will be sitting on. So you might want to, um, see if, if it's moved towards that way, it's not going to sit properly on the other side. So you have to hold this bracket down and push the heat sink back to make it sit properly on that edge. See. Now for the other side, fun part. Okay, let's zoom back in. Okay, all right, for this part, like I said, make sure that the lever is moved this way. So we have the most uh, slack for this bracket. Uh, if you do it correctly, then this bracket should just like the very little pressure 
should just clamp onto that hook right there. Easy. So make sure everything's seated down properly. And once you're done with that, this little bracket now will move. You see when I flip it this way, it puts pressure. And the shape of this puts pressure on uh, this part right here and pulls the whole thing up and the heat sink down. So watch carefully. Flip it towards that side. If it gets too stiff, don't worry. It's not going to do anything. All right. Once you got that done, you have now installed your AMD Wraith cooler on your motherboard. Take the fan header. Find your um, CPU fan header right here. Plug it in. Depending on where it is in your board, you may want to like route this cable back here and down there. Tuck it in and there we have it we have now installed the MD Wraith cooler on your motherboard um, that's pretty much it power on your system check your temperatures make sure they are within um, margin of errors or way below the uh, rated temperature uh, that is set for your processor and that is it. This has been Chris. I hope this video helped you out. We'll see you on the next troubleshooting video.